I'm still hearing the naysayers. They just can't stop. What are they saying? Batteries are going to get more expensive. EVs are just going to cost more and more and more. Well, please watch the channel. Electric cars will come down in price. The range of batteries will increase for the same costs. Now, if there wasn't more proof of what's going on, look at the profits of CATL and Goshan High Tech and even BYD. Their profits are exploding through the roof, up 400% collectively this year. But this technology I'm about to share with you proves my point yet again. New research is constantly pushing the frontier of battery technology. And boy, is the future going to be so much better than it is today. Wow. You just got to get, this is the tip of the iceberg. You just got to get a look at what is going on. I'm going to show you what's going on here. There's a lot more than this story. This is just the beginning. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name's Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. Thanks for tuning in. Really good to see you all. Hope you've had an amazing week. I've got about 200 tabs open on my computer right now with all different kinds of new technology, new EVs, new batteries, new renewable energy. It's just everything is happening. It's happening fast. It's an insane time to be alive. Could not be a better time in history to be alive. If anyone tells you otherwise, boy, oh boy, are they wrong. A new type of cathode using the same exact materials we use now will increase the energy density of batteries by 25%. That is huge. Researchers at Skolkovo Institute of Science and Technology, Skoltec, have developed an improved cathode material for lithium-ion batteries powering electric vehicles. The material is a familiar, I've been talking about on the channel many times, nickel-rich layered transition metal oxide, but with an altered microstructure that packs far more energy density per unit volume. The crazy thing is, right, it doesn't really cost more to make batteries using this kind of cathode. Thanks to its ultra high energy density, the new material will make the cathodes and the batteries themselves more compact, which means an electric car with a battery of the same size will be able to travel a lot more kilometers on a single charge. Because if you increase the energy density of the battery by 25%, you potentially give the car more than a 25% range boost because when you make the battery size smaller and the car lighter, the same battery can go further. Scientists are hopeful that further experiments can boost the performance even further. They're not happy with 25%, they're saying they can get more. In currently used materials, some of the cobalt atoms are replaced by nickel and manganese. These materials are known by technical names such as NMC811, that's probably, you probably heard that in reference to Tesla's battery cells, where the numbers reflect the ratio between the three elements in the chemical formula. Without changing their chemical composition, Skoltec researchers improved NMC811 and its cousin NMC622 by simply tweaking the material's microstructural organization. Conventional NMCs or conventional nickel, manganese and cobalt batteries are powered polycrystalline materials, meaning that each secondary particle is made up of randomly oriented grains. The crystal structure with any given grain is nearly flawless, but since no two grains fit perfectly together, some empty spaces inevitably arise at grain boundaries. Now, the single crystal counterparts of polycrystalline NMCs are just what the name says. Each powder particle is basically one large grain with no wasted spaces in it at all. These single crystals are usually octahedron shaped. Our material is a single crystal NMC cathode with spherical particles, combining the best of both worlds as far as maximizing energy density goes. Unlike polycrystals, the powder particles don't have an internal structure, so there are no wasted spaces at grain boundaries. But on top of that, you can also pack more spherically shaped single crystals into the same limited volume than octahedron shaped ones, so you get more density on that account too, study Kawatha Skoltec research scientist Alexandra Savina said. In addition to denser packing, 
The spherical shape of the crystals reduces the area of contact with the electrolyte, minimizing unwanted interactions that, over time, cause cathode degradation, thus battery degradation and range loss, due to crack formation in the particles of conventional NMCs. This is one of the key reasons why batteries degrade. This should prolong the, the operating life of the cathode and therefore the battery as a whole, leading to far less battery degradation over time in lithium ternary batteries, which is one of the big drawbacks of lithium ternary batteries versus lithium iron phosphate batteries. To alter the layered oxide morphology, Skoltek researchers tweaked the synthesis procedure, which relies on the so-called flux method. Researchers say the new cathode material offers an increase in energy density by 25%. They hope that even more energy can be packed into the same volume through further experimentation with the particle size, combining smaller and larger spheres for even denser packing, which in turn would also increase the energy density and therefore the range of EVs. The team will also pursue layered transition metal oxides that would replace even more cobalt and manganese atoms with nickel, further enhancing energy storage capacity. They said, cathode materials are an important bottleneck as far as electric vehicle batteries are concerned. The cathodes in batteries powering electric cars tend to use layered transition metal oxides, including nickel rich ones. We improved two commonly used materials of this kind, achieving a 10 to 25% increase in energy density, depending upon the type of materials used. This translates into smaller cathodes, more compact batteries, and therefore greater energy storage capacity for the same volume. As an added bonus, the material is slower to deteriorate, meaning the batteries not only give you more range, they last longer and they weigh less. This is the future of battery technology. There are so many new technologies coming to market. I can assure you that no, they're not all theoretical. Many of them are working, will work, and do work in the real world. That's why the energy density in the new lithium-ion phosphate batteries, and in fact, in a range of new batteries from new battery manufacturers, continues to increase. Now, for some reason, this sort of news isn't sexy to the mainstream media. They couldn't care less. And most even electric vehicle sites barely ever talk about batteries and how they are improving. But just because you're not hearing it doesn't mean it's not happening. It most certainly is. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Remember, the world is most certainly getting better and we have so much to look forward to.